Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 10. What did you hear happened? Um, that a boat tipped over and that they went underwater to the other river. A scary situation for a couple of anglers in West Fargo yesterday when their boat tipped, sending one through a narrow culvert in the Cheyenne River. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz joins us live from the river with more on the high waters and strong current that caused the boat with two to turn over. Rose? To the Cheyenne River off 7th Avenue West where a boat tipped over. I'm going to bring you down over here and flip this over to show you right where this boat got stuck. Right over here it was halfway tipped over and then you can see right here is where the marks of where they were able to tow that boat out. But a man went under at least one of them they tell me went under this narrow culvert here and all the way to the other side I spoke with a bunch of neighbors and they tell me that they're just happy that nobody got hurt it was like scary and I was glad that they were okay and so it was quite an episode I always think was it, did anybody get hurt or did anybody drown Betty Tangastall lives just feet away from here where a boat tipped over Tuesday afternoon, sending at least one passenger under the culvert. They had tried to go under the bridge to the other side, and the Cheyenne River is so high right now. And apparently they went sideways when they were trying to get through. One of the gentlemen, he ended up going completely through the culvert, and uh, he said he couldn't touch bottom. He was not wearing a life jacket. According to West Fargo Fire Shift Captain Joey Porter, it could have been a scary situation for the two fishermen. He was completely wet, so uh, I, I don't know the whole details if he's completely underwater, but I'm guessing he did for some point. Porter says a fast current was one cause. The river's up about a foot, so it is flowing a lot faster than it normally was. I think my husband said 25 miles an hour or something. That's pretty fast. Along with high waters. A lot of rain in a short period of time, so the water is up a little bit. This is the Cheyenne River, so it's part of the, you know, the diversion. Sometimes the water here is really low, and sometimes it's really high, so you just kind of never know. Now I know that, like, not go on a boat, like, in the river. Like to go like fishing on land and not on a boat. Porter says it's okay to sail on the river, but to use common sense. And wear a life jacket because accidents are called accidents for a reason and they happen at the spur of the moment. And now I'm still on the same side of the river, but watch what happens. I'm going to flip the phone again. We're going to show you this is the road that is crossing. So if you go across here, you can see where the all under the here all the way to this river I see under here still one neighbor that we spoke with says once she knew the fishermen were okay she enjoyed watching the rescue crew saying that they were very good at what they do Three people are still trying to get over their scary rescue yesterday morning on Black Duck Lake. Authorities were called just after 6.30 a.m. regarding a boat spinning in circles and three people in the water. They were rescued by other boaters before emergency responders arrived on scene. No one was injured. Operator error appears to be the cause and impairment does not appear to be a factor. No more complaints about a lack of summertime heat. It's here and we'll be hanging out with humidity later on. For now, it's time to fire up your grill, just like the folks from Cashwise. Hutch is here now with another backyard barbecue. Hutch? Yes, Mike, this time we join you from South Fargo on an absolutely gorgeous summer-like day. We soared into the mid-80s, some the upper 80s today, and uh, temperatures this evening looking pretty good. Here is a look at the satellite and radar composite and almost the entire area. Very quiet heading into the evening hours. In fact, uh, there were some showers up near Lake of the Woods. Those look to be diminishing. Some stuff out to the west, though, we'll be watching uh, to be making its way in our general area, but not until we go through the overnight hours. Temperatures still in the 80s for most of the area. And the wind fairly light, but at least here at South Fargo, enough of a breeze to keep things very comfortable outdoors. Planner shows temperatures in the 80s all the way through 8 o'clock at night, then slipping into the 70s. We'll be mostly clear here in the early overnight and very quiet. Grand Forks, 
Likewise, temperatures in the 80s until we get to about 9 to 10 o'clock, and then we'll cool off fairly rapidly through the 60s. Some of us will have a chance of rain, and I'll detail that here in just a minute to be in the area by morning. But first, let's take a moment to introduce you to this week's CashWise Backyard Barbecue winner. It's Bruce Burt. Bruce, where did you sign up to win? I signed up at Cashwise Foods on 13th Avenue in Fargo in the meat section. Very good. And uh, who did you invite tonight? I know it was a hungry crowd because, Mike, once again, we have no leftovers. But uh, who, who did you invite over? Well, some friends and some family. Very good. Well, a beautiful evening here in South Fargo. And as we head toward the weekend, we're looking at some significant warm weather and humid weather as well as a chance for some thunderstorms, some of which could be strong. We'll have hour by hour details on what you can expect for some Thursday thunder and the heat beyond coming up here in just a few moments. But for now, Mike, we'll toss it back to you in the studio. As long as those folks are happy and fed. Thanks, Hutch. Moorhead police are asking for your help locating a 40-year-old Amber Rogines. She was wanted on several charges, including possession of drug paraphernalia and sale of a controlled substance. If you have any information on her, on her whereabouts, call dispatch at 701-451-7660. Fargo police are asking for your help as well, locating these people of interest in ongoing investigations. And if you have any information about them, you are urged to call Fargo police's tip line at 701 241 5777 and be sure to reference the photo number 114 and 115. A 34 year old Moorhead man is facing assault charges after allegedly punching a man and then lighting off fireworks in his apartment, causing the building to be evacuated. Authorities say Michael McCullough is accused of striking an employee at the Bright Sky Apartments. When police entered McCullough's apartment to arrest him, a fire inside set off sprinklers. They say there were several fireworks on a table, and police be believe that one was lit in the unit. McCullough later told police that he blacked down and admitted to having fireworks. He's facing several charges, including arson. Carson Wentz is in town and has rallied friends and former Bison football players to help raise money for his AO1 foundation. The starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles and former Bison QB has held similar charity games in Philadelphia and is hoping that Fargo fans will come out tonight. Beth Houle is at Newman Outdoor where players are swinging for the fence right now. Beth? Hey, Mike. Yeah, it's uh, an outstanding atmosphere out here at Newman Outdoor Field. The fans are starting to show up. It is certainly a toasty one out here. Uh, missing out on all that rain from last week. Uh, shining down on us right now. The sun, a little bit of heat. Put on a tank top and find yourself out here. The crowd is covered in a variety of outfits from your Bison gear to your Eagles gear and, of course, AO1 Foundation gear that's being sold out in front of Newman Outdoor Field. Carson Wentz and the crew brought the food truck as well to provide uh, some sustenance for the folks right now we've got the home run derby going on nick deluca started things off we've got 10 guys participating in this the top two will advance to the finals where a winner will be crowned nick deluca only with two home runs to start this off today i, I thought he was gonna have a lot better he's got a baseball background right now kyle emmanuel the newest member of our uh, bison football broadcast crew at the plate looking to make his mark in this home run derby coming up later in sports we're going to hear from some of these guys uh, but for now reporting live at newman outdoor field i'm beth Hull. good times thanks beth later on valley news live at six porch pirates plague a local neighborhood but are caught in the act on a security camera and if you like summer weather well the forecast is coming up daisies temperatures are about to soar i'll have details on that and a chance of thunder in your hour by hour forecast right after this <laughs> 